Uh, let's talk about number of dice rolls with target sum. So you are given the number of dice and each dice has F face. So it could be 2 face, 6 face or whatever, right? And you are given a target. So uh, you need to return the po a number, number of, of possible way mod 10 to 9 plus 7. So this is the constraint. And for example, dice is equal to 1 and the face is three, 6 and target is 3, right? Whenever you roll a dice, is, you can only get one result because the face 3 for the uh, for single dice is on could be only one possible outcome. So I, I made a 2D graph. So this is the D equal to 1, face equal to 6, target equal to 3, right? And so you need to initialize your result. 0, 0, 2, 1. So now we, we, want, we want to see target equal to 3, right? So the maximum for the column is just 3. You don't need the 4, 5, 6 because we are not using the 4, 5, 6 column. Uh, the maximum number is the, the number of target. And for one dice, right? When you roll one dice, it, the possible way for 1 is 1. The possible way to get 2 is 1, right? 3 is 1. So number of the number of the result is one when the target equals to three. But what happened to d equal to two? So you initialize zero zero to one, right? When you have one dice, you can roll one one time, two one time, three four five six one time, right? But when you have two dice, right? The minimum for two dice is one plus one is two, right? And then three is two plus one or one plus two. So it's 2, and then 4 is 3, 5 is 4, 6 is 5, 7 is 6. So the idea is taking the previous row and the column. So imagine I'm here, right? 2, 2. I'm taking 1, 0 to 1, 1. And if I'm 2, 3, I'm taking entire 1, 0 to 1, 2. And for this example, I'm taking in entire the number from 1, 0 to 1, 6. So you get the idea, right? Now let's start coding. So you definitely need a mod. Mod equal to integer 1e9 plus 7. This will represent 10 to 9 plus 7. And you need a 2d array, right? So I'd like to do is new int. And this is dice and this is phase initially, right? So d plus 1 and f uh, target, target plus 1, right? We need to store the number of the dice, right? If there's one dice, we need to include in the default one. So it's two row technically. So if d equal to one, then d plus one if for the for row and target, uh, you need to include in the zero, right? So it's target plus one for the column. Now let's just def initialize zero zero to one, and then let's see the number of dice. So I would say dice equal to 1 to dice less than equal to d and then dice plus plus you are starting from 1 dice to the dice is given right and same thing for the for the value I have value start from 0 so you are actually looping from the entire rule so um, what you should do is using you use the val is less than equal to target val plus plus and you also need a face face equal to one the minimum face is one and then less than face face plus plus right so face could be three and then what i need is this one right i take the column subtract s subtract i'm not using the same column so i'm going to subtract uh one and then taking the entire column for the previous row so what I would see if the value, if the value is less than face, which means it's not possible, since we're starting from zero, right? We, we have to start from zero. Just make sure this is column zero. So if this is happening, then we continue. Else, uh, the number, then we can see uh, value. This will represent row and column, right? So row colon plus and 
we need to be careful we are taking the previous rule right previous rule and the column before the column before right so this this will traverse your column as well so dice minus one and then the column before column before is using the bow bow minus face because bow is greater equal to face right now if not we just continue now don't forget the constraint you mod you mod the 10 to 9 plus 7 right 10 to the 9 plus 7 and you return you return the last value so that the last value it should be d to the dice and then d to the target right so d, when d equal to 1 target, target is 3 so 1 3 so 1 3 right here and d equal to 2 target equal 7 2 7 so let's try it mm -hmm. all right good all right pass so the time and space for the space you just try uh you are sorting every element so d time target right the dice time target so all of d time target and for the space for the time you have three loop right it's all of all of dice right here all of Val, which is target, and then all of face, right? So, as as a result, is all of d time the number of the target, and then face is d time target time face will be your time. So this this is not good. Uh, f for the two D, yeah, you are doing doing a lot of time time consuming to calculate it you can try 1d but i'm not going to talk in this video and also there is the hash map uh, re, you, by using recursion and i will talk about next time and hope you get it bye